Hello, in this video, I'm going to go over how to review the slab composition on a building. Um, our first step would be to open up the structural drawings. And then you want to go through them and find any relevant sheets to that slab comp composition. So you go through and we have one here, for example, and you're going to want to extract this sheet like so. And you're going to save it in the review folder. Um, typically, if it's a single sheet, you would save it under Jumpstart and then the sheet name and today's date or the date um, it's going to be saved under. And then since we're going to have multiple sheets on this one, I just named it Slab Composition. So once it's extracted, you jump over to that file and you want to start highlighting any relevant information to that slab slab composition. So here we can find the classes of concrete matrix. And you want to look for anything relevant to where our system is going to be anchored. Um, so of course, we have slab on grade, anything anchored to the slab on grade. We want to know the concrete strength and weight. And then any other decks we're attaching to. So any exposed steel deck slabs. You want to highlight that information. Like so. And then another thing you would want to look for in these drawings is the steel deck schedule. Now, this one didn't really have a steel deck schedule. Um, but when you went and looked in the framing plans, they do call out the composition of that steel deck here. So they call it to be a four and a half inch nominal weight concrete over the three inch flutes. So that gives us a seven and a half total inch thickness. And knowing that overall thickness, um, we should be good to lay it out in our proposal drawings and see if there are truly any conflicts there. So you want to keep scrolling and finding any other information relevant to concrete slabs, compositions. Here we have the deck edge. Um, always want to know what kind of bend plate to have at the edge. Um, if there's various type of deck edge plates at the end. So here they call out the quarter inch everywhere on the deck. So you want to make note of that. Another thing you would want to make a note of would be the importance factor on this building. If it is greater than one, um, it's recommended that you contact Hilti in order to ensure that our Hilti embeds still meet the criteria on the job. Um, anything higher than an importance factor of one typically increases our embedment requirement at those Hilti embeds. So once you go in and highlight all the relevant information, um, you're going to want to save the document. You want to jump over into the pre-engineering tools, and you're going to fill out that information um, where it needs to be filled out. So for concrete strength and PSI, you want to fill that out here, the weight, um, anything in regards to Hilti at the deck edge. You want to come here and start filling this information out. Um, and then this is a sheet we can also provide to the GC or anybody else reviewing our um, embedment requirements. So once that's all saved, you can add that into your JS1 folder or file and review with the estimator at that time of review. And that's how you review slab composition on a job.